Even though it's in the early stages of the process, there has already been some pushback from residents living near a proposed development here. Village Developments Incorporated hopes to build a seven-story, 297-unit rental apartment building on Ontario Street South, which was presented to Council at a public meeting on January 18th. Bill Barlow was one of the residents speaking out against the development. He says he believes it will negatively impact his neighbourhood. The building doesn't fit in the surroundings. Um, there'll be noise and traffic problems from you know, for a 40 year old neighborhood that uh, we've enjoyed peacefully for 40 years. <laughs> so we're not, we're not happy about that. Rick Malbuff is the regional counselor for War II, where the proposed development is located. He says developments like this is important to help keep up with how fast Milton is growing. Well, I've lived here 30 years. I've been on council 16 years. I've seen it go from a population of 30,000 to now over 130,000. And I've dealt with numerous development projects. Right? And, you know, everybody, uh, you know, the people in the area, once they've moved in, would like to see development stop. Once they've moved in, they don't want to see any more development. Uh, but, you know, we, we are uh, designated as a place to grow by the province. We have to, uh, to grow. We're in an ideal location. And our responsibility and our biggest challenge is trying to manage that growth. Although Barlow understands the town's responsibility to try to find solutions to accommodate the growth in this community, he says he doesn't think this type of development is the best solution. It just seems so ridiculous to me that there's this want to intensify so much. We seem intent on putting people in tiny apartments uh, in neighborhoods that they don't belong in, in my view. Councillor Malbuff says this development could also help diversify the types of housing desperately needed in Milton. One of the biggest complaints we hear is the lack of affordable housing in Milton. Our young people cannot live here, okay? My grandchildren had to move out of Milton because they can't afford to buy or rent here, okay? That is a major issue we're facing. Right. And, you know, we're trying to get the type of development that will diversify a bit to, to where uh, our young people will be allowed, able to stay in Milton. Now, in order for the builder to go ahead with the proposal, council would have to amend the current zoning bylaw from residential low density, a max of four stories, to residential medium density to allow for the extra stories submitted in the application. Although Barlow certainly agrees that housing is needed in the community, he hopes that council will decide that it should be in keeping with the current bylaw. So I don't think we should push back to say nothing should go there. I don't think that's very realistic. I think for me, I prefer townhouses. Town staff is expected to meet with the developer to discuss the results of this meeting and possible changes to the application before a report can be brought back before council for debate, which according to the town timelines is not likely to happen till about late spring or early summer. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.